everybody. I'm Dr. Padmavati Tungatutti from Teach Connect. I'm a quality education specialist. I train teachers and mentor principals. This is the second part of the videos out of the seven video playlists wherein I will be able to focus on the holistic progress card. Holistic progress card for the foundational stage. How to fill it up? What are the important aspects where a teacher has to align with the holistic progress card filling up? Let me share my screen. This is the holistic progress card for foundational stage. I think you all as teachers and as principal, you are aware of this. This is a progress card which will show the progress of the student. This is Parak for the foundational stage. The first part is part A. However, name and address of the school, the teacher code, which is same as that in the UDICE. The APAR ID is one thing which teachers have to approach the principal and the management to get it. And you have a UDICE code. There will be a separate video on APAR ID. And uh, we can have general information over here, the student's name. And you, here you see the student's registration number also. That means there is a meticulous value for every detail which is being filled up over here. You have Balvatica 1, Balvatica 2, Balvatica 3, Grade 1, Grade 2. Let us call this pre-primary segment as Balvatica 1, 2, 3. And let us not confuse the parents so that they also give a name, Balvatica, Balvatica 1, 2, and 3 to this pre-primary segment. We cannot expect parents to uh, pronounce these names as Balvatica 1, 2, and 3 unless we tell them. Grade 1, Grade 2 also combines into this. Then they have the photograph. This photograph, a very interesting feature about this photograph is here the student can normally paste a, a photograph, passport size photograph. But here, very interestingly, student can draw the picture or the student can put a caricature, how the student would love to see himself or herself. Definitely, this is what the webinar conducted by CVSC also says. The mother and the guardian name, mother or the guardian's name. Education of the mother is also important and it is to be noted. It is for the teachers and the principal to understand what's the education of the parent and what's the background of the parent, the mother tongue, whether they are coming from rural or urban area. Number of siblings is a very important factor in the sibling age so that the teacher will come to know the complete background history of the student. See here, apart from the number of working days, there is a reason to be mentioned if the attendance is low. Maybe you can add an NXR for this. If at all you want to mention month on month, this is a prototype. This can definitely be changed. And the interest can be written over here, the gardening, yoga, art. Therefore, this segment will help the teacher understand what sort of experiential learning the student is interested in. It should be specified. The student may choose more than one option. Let the student uh, choose these options. Please do not force the student or assume that the student likes or dislikes. Maybe a student is doing a good dance. Maybe she may not be liking a good dance. Therefore, the student can like a craft, may like a cooking. Therefore, if they like cooking and they are doing it with fun, with interest. There is nothing like it for the teacher to incorporate the lessons and art experiential lessons over here. Me and my surrounding, this is me. If at all a student pastes a passport size photograph over here, give a chance for the student to paste her idea of picture over here. This is my family. You will come to know how close the family is or who are the members in the family. In which house does the student live? When is the birthday? 
how many years old is the student this is a data which the student fills it up on his or her own let it be shabby let the student fill this these are my friends so let us see the student is able to fill up four friends five friends one friend two friends the student is filling up five friends that means the student is quite friendly this is how we got to assess the student and at present what's the idea when the student is growing up what she the student after she grows up what's the idea what does she want to or he want to or they want to become and what's the favorite color food animal there are pictures also given over here so that the student doesn't have controversy of content and the picture if it is a flower immediately a picture is given so that the student will volunteer to write down draw or paste a picture over here there is no uh, there is no restriction that the student has to write the color as well paste color it red or green and now that is part a part a is an important factor and it's a great connectivity document between the teacher and the student so that the teacher will come to know what is the important connection what is the family what are the interests do not neglect this factor part a make it a very important document for the student wherein this can be understood by all other teachers who visit the classroom and also in part b with part b there is a physical development aspect over here the curricular goals these curricular goals are mapped from the national curriculum framework for the foundational stage what are the competencies what is that one activity what are the one assessment question and what's the assessment rubric which the student has plan to do now the question is is this one activity enough for the student to understand and how are we gauging it one activity yes it is enough because this one activity which is an art integrated or an experiential learning or a different uh, pedagogical aspect one activity will be the miniature of the interest of all the interests of the student therefore what's the activity how is the activity plan where has the student taken interest where has the student not taken interest all these are supposed to be noted down if in the assessment question how did the student fare in this assessment question that means this will be a connectivity document between the parents as well as the uh, teacher and the student because the student himself or herself or they will be able to understand what activity was planned how the student has improved in the competency then the assessment question national curriculum framework for school education will help in order to find out these assessment question what are the learning outcomes based on those learning outcomes what are the assessment question how did the student fare in these assessment question this connection will help the teacher and the parent come on to an alignment and understand how the student is faring at school now the rubrics there are three different categories and this is a matrix wherein awareness sensitivity and creativity is created the assessment rubric is the child at a stream level that's an beginning level or at a mountain level wherein a little higher than the stream and the sky level is a child a higher achiever this we will come to know if the teacher is filling up if in the awareness segment for this particular activity the student is well aware then write a remark in the sky segment if you feel that the student in the awareness segment if the student has enough awareness of the content write the comment in the sky segment that means the child is fully aware of what is doing and if the child is in the sensitivity 
maybe the child is not showing much of a sensitivity for a particular activity or if the child is not including the concepts emotionally then you can make a mountain remark and when in the creativity normally students foundational stages are enough creative then you can as well say that they are in the sky position otherwise you can bring in and write a comment on creativity stream or in the place of mountain so for one awareness you will have one comment either in the segment stream mountain or sky stream mountain or sky and if the child is able to do very well in sensitivity let us put it as sky even for sensitivity but all three say awareness sensitivity and creativity mapping on to sky i think the teacher needs to look into the remarks again then if this is the teacher's feedback about what she has observed during the activity time the teacher is supposed to observe every student maybe for one particular activity if the teacher has observed this student so for activity a maybe the teacher observes five student for activity b the teacher observes another five student for that activity only she can make a mention over here now circling the picture i think you're all clear on this it is not necessary that the same activity need to be mapped for every student each student can have a different activity only thing is the teacher has to observe and make a comment here and the picture that shows you how you worked on this activity and the child has to agree this is the self assessment with the student himself will circle on this choose a peer that peer the same peer will have to fill up for the term for this activity it will be convenient for the student to pick up a peer and write down what's there in the peer assessment this work maybe the student my friend like doing the work it's such a fantastic document to do this work my friend needed my support or she could refer or there was no support required it is necessary to fill the three different colors that's why the color code is mentioned it is not that one point need to be the self assessment this also to be filled up this also to be filled up this also to be filled up for the peer assessment all the three colors need to be filled up therefore the student will have a fair idea of how my friend is observing then you have the parent or the caregiver now you have the parent or the caregiver or the guardian's observation what are the comments and remarks why so many people should align yes they should align because what the student is appearing to the parents how the student is behaving at school and what is the teacher's perception these three categories will come into this single sheet that is if the student is able to judge himself that is personal self how the public self and how the teacher the parent is observing the student this is a document again it comes to domain 2 this is socio emotional development situation remains the same if the school is interested in creating more sheets definitely they can go for it but one is enough for this academic year i strongly suggest so that the student the teacher and the parent will have a fair idea on how to write this document see the teacher's feedback is to be written for every domain it's a great idea to write down it is not an optional thing that the student assesses himself herself or the peers it's a mandatory thing that the student the teacher as well as the parent the peer align on this on a compulsory 1/4 1/4 1/4 1/4 segment 
making it a 360 degree report card. Domain three is cognitive development. As I have told you earlier, the curricular goals are these curricular goals which are brought in from national curriculum framework. If you feel that you can do only one for this academic year 20, 24, 25, please go ahead with this. The assessment rubric has to be done with great patience and make a prototype of this. It is mandatory that you attain, do all the domains, domain four and domain five also. But if you feel that it is overwhelming for term one, please do two domains for term one and two more for term two and all five for term three. This will help the teachers to fall into routine. This is not recommended by CBSC. This is my personal opinion so that teachers don't feel overwhelmed about this. And the assessment, every rubrics which is written over here must be agreed by the student, by the peer, by the parent, and also this is the teacher's observation. That is a pakka 90 degrees observation. All 90, 4 into 90 degrees should make 360 degrees. Now here, this is how all five domains are there. There is an additional domain of 5.1, which is positive learning habits for students. This is also being mentioned in National Curriculum Framework for, for a foundational stage. These are the assessment questions. Create two questions. Write a detailed report on these two questions. There is no need of creating five questions and worrying on how to grade it. Make it a habit. If you slowly do it for term one, you will definitely be able to focus on term two and term three later on. Then this teacher feedback, it goes to every activity which they do on each domain. Part C is summary for the academic year. Every stakeholder, the teachers, the student, the peers must all agree. And this is the qualitative input. It is not quantitative. It's a qualitative input given by the teacher based on the student's ability. If you feel that the space is not enough, you can make another sheet for this awareness level, sensitivity level, sensitivity level creativity. These are just given as diagram over here. It doesn't mean that grade 0.3 and 4 map on to sensitivity 0.5 and 5.1 uh, map on to creativity. It means that the concepts are to be measured on awareness, sensitivity, and creativity basis. This is purely my personal uh, opinion. And this is what I have read many times and visited uh, the webinar also. I have heard through for thanks to all these members of CBSC and the pool of people who have contributed to making this and I hope you all have followed any queries please do uh, post on this uh, um, post and comment directly or a direct message if you are on instagram and if you are on facebook you can as well uh, put it in the comment section if it is youtube you can chat with me i will try to give my opinion on this foundational stage regarding a par id i will make another video because it becomes very lengthy Thanks for watching. If you have liked it, like this video, please do share to another teacher who will be very happy to receive this content for Holistic Progress Camp. Thank you very much and Namaste.